Look at what we're looking at. 30 minutes, homemade marinara, homemade mozzarella sticks. Do I have to say anything else? Very similar to cookie dough, mozzarella sticks was an American pastime for this thick boy. I used to inhale mozzarella sticks faster than Matt Stoney can inhale hot dogs. <laughs> so today in the anabolic laboratory, we will be making homemade mozzarella sticks from scratch that only take you 30 minutes from start to finish with a homemade marinara sauce, which you could have all of them for under 500 calories. My name is Nick. I have my master's in exercise physiology and I make anabolic recipes and also review other anabolic recipes as well as anything else in the fitness industry. So if you're into that kind of thing, like this video and subscribe to the channel. If you're ready to have mozzarella sticks at every damn meal, then let's get into it. Start to finish, I said 30 minutes and I mean it. It is currently 11.03 and we will be done by 11.33 with homemade marinara, homemade mozzarella sticks, and all the deliciousness ready to eat. For the sake of time, I already set up the dredging stations, but this has flour in it, 30 grams. In the egg wash, we have one egg and one egg white. And then you can get Italian style breadcrumbs, but I would prefer to do it myself, doing it yourself, homemade is always better. I have 100 grams of plain bread crumbs, 10 grams of Parmesan Reggiano, or Parmigiano Reggiano. This is the expensive version of Parmesan, AKA the real version. You don't have to use this, but if you have it, I would highly recommend it. Or if you can get it, I would highly recommend it. It just gives that extra boost of flavor. If not, regular Parmesan works too. Then we have garlic powder, four grams. Salt, this regular iodized salt, the thing came off, whatever, five grams. One gram of parsley flakes, and then just a dash of pepper. Now, of course, we need our string cheese. And for this, there's a Sargento 45 calorie. This is in stock at Walmart. This is in stock at Target. They also have, my girlfriend sent me a picture of a different brand that has 50 calories, so five more calories, but has an extra gram of protein. Point being, this is readily available and you should be able to do this whether you're in Kentucky, California, Illinois, New York, doesn't matter. Now we are going to peel off six of these. Now with these, I like to go two at a time. So I'm going to just roll it in the flour. Make sure you get the edges. Edges are important and make sure you have flour all over it. Now I like to bounce mine in here a little bit, get any excess off, put it in the eggs. Now before I move on to the egg mixture with my other hand, cause this is my dry hand, I'm going to get two more already floured. So the process is just rolling. Now the only important thing about this part is that you make sure that everything is wet. It's okay if you over drench it in egg, you put it in the breadcrumbs and you cover the breadcrumbs with the wet part and it all sticks. Oh, and people are gonna ask me if you could use egg whites, just egg whites. Yes, you can, but it doesn't stick as well. The whole point is the yolk helps with the flour to also stick to the breadcrumbs. It's worth the 20 or 30 extra calories that you're spending to use one full egg. Now I have it in the breadcrumbs. When I combine all the ingredients, obviously I mixed them all together thoroughly. And so now I'm just going to take some from the sides and put it on the top. And I literally just press down into it. We're really trying to make as much breading stick as we can. And again, make sure we get those ends. Don't forget the ends. As I said earlier, we're double breading. You guys are gonna ask me if you could single bread it. You can, but you're gonna get a very leaky mozzarella stick and you don't want all the cheese to be on the bottom of your air fryer at the end of this. I mean, then there's no point, right? And so if you do see, I have a little piece of flour still showing. I just dip that right into the egg wash and right into the breadcrumbs and boom, you don't have that, that, that problem anymore. So even if you mess up, you can make up for it. Now we're going back in the egg wash here. 
Again, completely soaked. Now really thoroughly coated. The second breading is almost more important than the first. But I really like to just press it down, press it into it, get as much on there as you can. And we'll grab a plate over here so we can put our breaded mozzarella sticks on here. I checked it for coverage. We are thoroughly covered. So that one goes over there. Second one done. Now I'm going to get the ones we already coated in the flour in here, put our last two in the flour, and then we're going to repeat the process. So I'm going to fast forward through all this and I will see you back when everything's breaded. Okay. Bye. Breading is done. Now you have one of two options. You can make them right now, which you will get the cheese a little bit meltier, I've noticed, but it doesn't get as crispy. You could also put them in the fridge for an hour. When you put them in the fridge for an hour, it takes the cheese longer to melt and won't actually escape from the mozzarella stick. So that gives more time for the uh, breading to get crisp. So it's up to you, whichever one that you would prefer. But if you're just ready to eat right now, like I am, we're going to put them in there right now. Now, normally when I have two cheese sticks left to bread, I would turn on my air fryer and preheat it to 350 for about three to four minutes and it'll be there. But since I have to make the marinara sauce and I want everything to be fresh, we're gonna do the marinara first. We need a can of San Marzano whole peeled tomatoes and we're going to crush these up with our hands. Now, you can crush them up a lot or a little. Usually I do a lot, but I like my marinara sauce chunky for dipping my mozzarella sticks in, so I'm not gonna crush up the tomatoes as much. And I'm also putting it right into the container that I'm gonna put into the fridge, so it's literally zero dishes. This is my go-to marinara. I make it every single time I'm using marinara for anything, whether it's pasta, dipping sauce, doesn't matter. I make my own. It literally takes five minutes. So I'll have all of the specific ingredients and the amounts in the description below. Minced garlic, tomato paste, crushed red pepper. I'm running out of time, so sorry for the noise, but I'm going to turn on the air fryer to let it preheat while I make the rest of this. Onion powder, oregano, olive oil, freshly cracked pepper, and then salt and sweetener to your taste. But I'll put what I like down below. Now all we have to do is mix this up, but I'm gonna wait until I put the mozzarella sticks in the air fryer. Speaking of, we are ready to go. So we are going to put the mozzarella sticks in the air fryer, make sure they're separated. And now I'm gonna spray the tops. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then we're gonna flip them. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then I like to try to get the ends here. And we go in for three to four minutes. Keep your eyes on them though, because they will pop eventually once they get too hot inside of the breading. All right, so it is 11.35. So I missed the cutoff by two minutes, but if I wasn't recording, I would have gotten it done. However, these are inevitably going to break open. That's why you have to keep an eye on them. And if I bet you another 30 seconds, they would have melted all over the place. So you just have to keep an eye on them. But look at what we're looking at. 30 minutes, homemade marinara, homemade mozzarella sticks. Do I have to say anything else? This is also girlfriend, Miss Non-Anabolic approved. And I don't even give a shit right now. I'm going right into my whole container, getting some marinara. I don't even wanna hype these up to make it just sound like they're good. Please go out and make them. 30 minutes start to finish. There is no excuse why you wouldn't and you will love it. I guarantee you, especially after you hear these macros. For all six mozzarella sticks, we are looking at about 498 or 500 calories, 42 grams of protein, 29 carbohydrates and 23 fat. You are not going to find many others with better macros than that, especially when you include the Parmigiano Reggiano encrusted mozzarella sticks to go with this entire recipe. To actually get the exact calories, I did four tests where I weighed everything out beforehand and weighed everything out after to see what was left over. And I took the average of those four times and you know, it's not gonna be perfect. It's gonna be within a few calories, but regardless, it is 
absolutely incredible when it comes to the calorie count. But I'm sure some of you are like, I don't wanna eat mozzarella sticks for dinner. Okay, that's fine. We can also have a beefy five layer with three or four mozzarella sticks, or we can have a McChicken with three or four mozzarella sticks. Actually, let me see the macros if we do one beefy five layer with four mozzarella sticks. Really quickly, I do wanna say that these won't be comparable to your all time deep fried, full fat mozzarella sticks, but I am calling this an 8.6 out of 10. Super, super close and very good, especially for something that you can have every day and work it into your diet. Now, for one beefy five layer and four mozzarella sticks, we are looking at 593 calories, 56 protein, 56 carb, 24 fat. Unreal. If you would have told me a year ago that I can have a beefy five layer and mozzarella sticks and fit it into my calories while trying to lose weight or even maintain my weight, I would think you were absolutely full of shit. But now you can. So until next time, I will see you in that next one. Do see.